The 6 Types of Specialized Dog Training Just like humans that have different talents and capabilities, dogs with different breeds also have different purposes and training actions. A dog depending on the breed may be for herding, working, fighting, companionship, and other reasons. In order for the dog to fulfill its purpose, proper training should be done. The great thing about dogs is their incredible learning ability. This comprehension is the reason why dogs are now being utilized for specific purposes in our society. Keep in mind that even before starting the training of the dog, commitment, and a lot of time needs to be rendered. If one truly wants their dog to excel at anything, rendering time and commitment should be nothing, all of this would be fruitful and rewarding at the end. Even if there are different breeds of dogs, basic obedience training is the common ground for every breed. This is the first training a dog should have before diving into more specific training. 6 Types of Specialized Dog Training 1. Service Training In general, there are 8 different types of service dogs, these dogs went through specific and rigorous training so that it can aid disabled people. The most common service dogs that can be seen on the streets are guide dogs for blind people. There are also hearing dogs that make the life of their owner a lot easier. Getting a service dog needs a lot of requirements because the dog needs to be suited for the needs of the owner. The first step in getting a service dog is to get a written document from a psychiatrist or a doctor. This written document should clearly state the mental and physical condition of the future owner. After knowing the needs of the person, the dog would undergo training that is tailored for the services needed by the person. If you are interested if you can be able to train the dog privately, this is actually doable. However, not everyone has the ability, capability, and knowledge for such a long and dedicated training. Many agencies and businesses are engaged in training dogs for years, then, they would just hand them out. This is more advisable rather than to train the service dog on your own, these businesses know their craft, and there is an assurance that the dog is well trained. The most common service dog breeds are Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever, German Shepherd, and American Staffordshire Terrier. The commonality of these dog breeds is they are big and strong that they can pull a wheelchair comfortably. 2. Obedience Training This training is something that all dogs would receive once in their life. The training would be like the stepping stone for harder training. After the dog reached 8 weeks old, basic obedience training should begin. Teaching the dog how to sit and stay may sound easy, but these basic commands are important in order to teach the dog more complex stuff. What the trainer wants to instill in the dog is the ability to perform simple tasks right on command. Perform simple tasks is not the only goal, a puppy should have socialization as their main focus as well. A trainer should let the puppy experience various situations as possible in order to prepare it for a different environment. Gaining confidence is a must so that a dog can interact with other dogs, people, places, and even sounds. Even if the dog already mastered the obedience training, this should still be enforced regularly, including the teaching of new tricks. This may be considered as a form of mental stimulation that is needed by the dog. Physical exercise is also a must to maintain the health of the dog. 3. Agility Training This training is basically master different obstacles and winning competitions. Dog agility sport was established a long time ago, and it is still popular today as a form of entertainment. The basic obstacles are seesaw, tunnel, hurdle, and weave poles. In surviving the obstacles, the owner should only use voice and body language, and it cannot touch or lure the dog with treats. Unlike in obedience training, this form of training should be started when the dog is already a year old so that it would not overstrain developing joints of the puppy. There is no prescribed way of training a dog, it all depends on the size and temperament. Even the obstacles need to be adjusted to the size of the dog so that they can train comfortably. 4. Behavioral Training There is a similarity between behavioral training and obedience training, they differ on the focus. In behavioral training, the basic behaviors of the dog and how to remove undesired ones are the goal. It includes digging, barking, chewing, biting, and even leash manners, it is a way to refine the actions of the dog. There was a test developed to see how well behaved a dog is, it is called the Canine Good Citizen Test. This was developed by the American Kennel Club to aid trainers in assessing their progress. 5. Therapy Training this specific classification is not protected by law, 
unlike service dogs that have special access to places. In general idea of a therapy dog is to provide comfort and affection towards people in different environments. A dog needs to pass a certain test known as the AKC therapy dog test in order to receive a certification. A dog should be well socialized, calm, friendly, well behaved, leash trained, and most importantly, it should have a high irritant threshold. 6. Protection Training Not all dogs are suited to protect and guard because certain traits are vital to be used as basics. A protection dog is required to be fearless, confident, controlled, and naturally suspicious of strangers. Such characteristics would aid the dog in performing the dangerous tasks that may be assigned to it. The breeds that are most suited for the job are German Shepherd and Rottweilers. Before starting this training, the dog should have already mastered the basic commands such as sit stay and heal. Thanks for watching. For more dog training tips, click on the link below and get your free dog training video series.